So it's a Saturday morning here in Austin, Texas, and I thought, you know what's a great idea to start the day, to start the vlog? Let's, uh, let's get a little haircut, let's go outside. That's where I uh, messed up. It's about 101 degrees out here, which is 33 degrees Celsius, and that's, that's too much, that's way too much. I did get a new job, which is, of course, super exciting, but I made a mistake. I, I went outside to talk about it. I'm not sure why I would do that, so let's, let's head home. All right, that is so much better. I'm, I'm never going outside. Okay, if you haven't followed my entire life journey over my last four years on this channel, first of all, that's rude. Second of all, I'll break it down for you really quick so you understand some context into Jeremiah Peoples. Hi, hello. A few years ago, I taught myself how to code and that was going great. I loved my career as a software engineer. But as I was leaving the Air Force, I had to pick a new job in the civilian world. And I had the choice to pick between either a software engineer or something called a developer advocate. Now, back then I had no idea what a developer advocate was, but that, that didn't stop me from applying to positions as both a software engineer and a mid-level developer advocate. One of those interviews was with a small startup called Slack, and I interviewed for a mid-level developer advocate position. I had a great time in those interviews. I thought I did well in the interview, but not that well. When they called me for the offer, it went like this. That said, we do want to offer you a senior developer advocate title, um, up-level the role because that's where the team sees you. They promoted me to senior during the interview process, which is wild. And I obviously took it. And over the last two-ish years, I've been working as a senior developer advocate. And I have loved every single second. And this job over the last two years has just been amazing. I get to create technical YouTube videos for a living. I get to travel the world and go to Korea and Spain and help the smartest engineers on the planet learn how to develop Slack applications. And not to mention the ability to give keynote speeches and have unlimited vacation time, incredible work-life balance. But with all of that, I still felt it was time to move on. Cue dramatic music. It's just the natural progression of life. It's what I felt was right for me and my family. I had to make this move. From senior developer advocate to staff developer advocate, your boy done got promoted, let's go. Now obviously this is very exciting news and I'm super pumped up about it. But for some reason, I didn't want to make this video. I felt it was kind of weird, but I thought it'd be even more weird if I had this lifestyle as a software engineer YouTube channel and I didn't make updates about my lifestyle as a software engineer. So here we are, let's, let's talk about it. What does this mean for me and what does this mean for my career and this channel? So currently I am a individual contributor, which means I don't have any uh, people who report to me. That means I just go into work and I focus on doing my job to the best of my ability in support of my manager and my manager's manager and the CEO. And even though I'm getting promoted to staff, I'm still gonna be an individual contributor. I had a talk with my manager about if I wanna go down the management path or the individual individual contributor path. And the work of an IC, individual contributor, just sounds more up to speed for me. I have a lot of things that I wanna do for this company and for the global community. So while the type of work may not change a lot for me, I think the scope will. Um, this year, I'm really trying to increase my scope of what can Jeremiah do for the Slack developer community. How can I teach a million developers how to create a Slack app? That's my goal this year. I wanna teach a million people how to develop on Slack. But now that's me. While I do love talking about myself, I also want this channel to be uh, inspirational and offer insights into a career in tech. So I like to talk about how I went about getting a promotion. The first thing I did when I looked at wanting to get promoted was I looked at time and grade. What that means is on average, how long does it take from someone to get from senior to staff? In the military time and grade, that requirement is written down and everyone can see it. But in big tech, I'm finding that it's not always a concrete number of how long you need to be in your current role before you're even considered to move to the next role. So to get a general understanding of how long I should be in my role as a senior before even thinking about moving forward, I looked at other people in my company that were seniors for one, two, three years, and then moved on to staff. And between all those people, I took the average of how long people were in their role before they moved on. And from my Batman-like detective skills, I found out that was about two years. Now, finding out time and grade is incredibly important because People get burnt out in their tech roles and it's typically not because they're doing work, 
but they feel like they're doing too much work and not getting enough recognition for it. Sometimes there's this soft requirement that you should do the work of the level above you before you're considered to move on to that level. And that can get demoralizing. Like if you have a role where you need to be in that role for two years and then you're working at the level above it for the entirety of those two years, you're gonna feel underpaid because you're doing work that's above you for two years. But on the other hand, if you know that it takes two years in your role before you're considered to move on, Maybe at a year and a half is when you start to kick up the juice and start doing projects above your level. And after that, having an amazing manager is probably the best hack in the world. Because at the end of the day, it really comes down to your manager. Your manager is typically gonna be responsible for helping you take on new projects that are gonna further your career or push you in ways that are gonna develop you as a individual contributor. And even outside of that, when you're up for promotion, you're not in the rooms. You're not advocating for yourself. That's typically done by your manager or your manager's manager. So having a good manager that understands your needs and your wants and your goals and the products that you have done and the impact that you have given to your company. If your manager knows all of those things, then you're in a really good position. If you don't have a good manager, find a new one. So be sure to have those conversations with your manager early so they can start creating a plan for your success and your movement throughout your career. I wanted to keep this video a bit on the shorter side, so that's it for this one. Thanks so much for watching my journey as a self-taught software engineer, and like always, I'll see you on the next one. See ya.